Rise and grind, grinders. It's time to feel the burn. So, it's a Wednesday, and going to do Tony Horton's Triple Threat Dynamic Gains today. I'll make sure it records better. I'll turn it off and on between like each one so it won't uh, go off into the nether worlds or whatever it does. Uh, this is a longer workout, 40 minutes. It's all legs. Not looking forward to it. My legs have been sore all week. I don't know if that's from riding the bike so much because that's a new experience for me. I do have some soreness in the shoulders and the back and the triceps from Monday's workout, which is great. That's what I love. Uh, but this is legs, and I'm not a fan of legs. But we're going to do it. We're going to get to it. Banzai. And we'll see you on the other side. Bang. Okay, here we go. So I have, of course, uh, sped this up a bit. That way it doesn't take so long. And it's not a 40-minute video. Um, let's start off with some warm-up. Um, it's the first time I'm seeing this. <laughs> so I probably need to be bending over a little bit more. But legs are something that I'm not good at. And, you know, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. It's early not exactly spry when I first get out of bed so it takes a little bit to get the body going and uh, I don't know I just like Tony's warm-ups better than the other people I guess I'm just biased this is something he called scooping the chickens or something I don't know you got one foot out in front kind of and your toes pointed up and you're just bending down scooping uh, kind of releases your hamstrings a little bit and your thighs so uh, that's what I was doing. So then we get to the very first exercise, and it's a racked squat. So we're only doing six repetitions, not a whole lot. Um, the weight, he used uh, eccentric on this one. So after the third one, it got heavier on the way down. But he only did six, so I'm not complaining. This, this workout wiped me out. You know, but if you're going to turn a centric on, it ought to come on, you know, a little from the very beginning, I guess, if you're only doing six repetitions. Um, and then this, this one, I couldn't even speed it up. Uh, one thing Tony does do is he talks a little bit in between each um, exercise. And if I don't feel I need more of a break, I try and jump to the next one and just go. But this one, I had to wait on him. It's a 25 second weighted march. So one handle, you're holding the handle and it, um, it it works your core trying to keep you straight. So, and that's why there was that delay there. I tried to go and I had to wait until he was done talking before the timer would start. It's just 25 seconds each leg. So that was the first block. We did three rounds of that. Um, the weight only increased a little bit because we kept with the six reps for the rack squat. So here we are jumping into the second set, second block. And these I'm terrible at. These were resisted lunges. And as you can see, I don't get very low. Uh, maybe if I did this later in the day, I'd be able to get lower. But, you know, lunges are something I have a lot of trouble with. They really make the back of my knees feel bad. Uh, not pain so much, but weak. Like I'm going to lose lose my balance, lose control, and fall over. So I really don't like doing those. It was 12 total reps, 6 on each side. And then um, I think here we're going into one-arm deadlifts. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what we do. And I can't remember. I think this was 8 reps. And yeah, this was a good good amount of weight, so... Um, eight on each side so you, you do one arm and then the other and uh, yeah uh, it was a leg workout and it worked you so you start at the bottom turn the weight on and you just rise up trying to use your your leg and your butt muscles to to do all this not pull with your back so it's something I really have to concentrate on to make sure that I'm getting the right muscles activated so you can see it a little better on the right side 
you know you're not going super deep on these I suppose I should probably be going a little bit deeper than I am but I'm really concentrating on just setting my butt back and uh, lifting so like I said eight on each side doesn't take real long three rounds of that and uh, the weight just barely goes up only if you're doing enough of it to make the weight go up now we're doing RDLs just regular deadlifts and um, uh, with handles instead of a bar so once you start it um, I think I started at the top every time probably should start at the bottom that way the weights on there but anyway uh, I think we're doing I don't know if it's six or eight of these however many that is I don't know I'm not counting so I'm just now starting to get the brain function back and I've cooled down it was a good workout Tony works you good so after that you can see I'm panting already uh, we're going into calf raises because he wanted to do some calves so nothing wrong with that I think it's good um, I think it was 12 of these yeah we did 12 of these and there were only two rounds of this exercise of the RDL and the calf calf raises so that's the workout there was some stretching and cool down afterwards but I didn't record that but that was day two of Tony Horton's triple threat so thanks for watching Bonsai we'll see you when we see you Bonsai welcome back okay that's the workout I'm pretty wiped uh, all legs, lower body for the most part. So, uh, yeah. hard to think right now because I got to get the blood pumping through, but I'm feeling pretty good. I, I just enjoy Tony Horton as a coach. So, uh, I don't have a lot to say. Thanks for tuning in. Bonsai, we will see you, I guess, on Friday. Maybe tomorrow, most likely on Friday. So until then, rise and grind, feel the burn, and 